la 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 Hello everybody, so today I'm here to talk about uh, really quick something that I'm sure some of you will be uh, excited for. As you know, a lot of my projects that I post on here, uh, things like my vanilla bycraft and the market that I recently showed, um, those have been private systems, you know, just things I've shown off because, hey look, I made something cool! Uh, you know, look at it. They're not open source, uh, the code isn't public, but this actually is. This is my, uh, my first open source project that I'm putting up on this channel. I have a GitHub that has several other open source projects on it. Um, but what this project does, it's a semi-working, incomplete fix for Jesper the Inn's, uh, player statue generator, which was in of itself based on the custom player statues concept made by Logstonable. Both of those have been broken. Uh, the concept itself isn't broken because I'm still using the base concept, but the way it was executed has been broken. So I will touch later on onto why it's incomplete, why this generator is incomplete, uh, and I will first go over why it needed fixing. So the original used custom player skulls instead of uh, these kinds of player skulls, because this is still player skulls, not a resource pack. Uh, basically, a custom player skull was a skull that used an image file somewhere on the internet that was not stored on Mojang servers. A, an example would be Imgur, a skin file hosted on Imgur, and that was then attached to a player skull that was not associated with a legitimate Minecraft account. It was a fake player skull. It was, it was all fake. Um, not the generator was fake, but you know what I mean. Uh, that's why it took, you know, so little time to make these, because it was literally just upload pool, upload pool, upload pool, and you just got the data. Uh, because, you know, everything's in base 64 with Mojang. All their crap is in base 64. So it was really, it's, it's easy to make it. But so, the reason why this broke was because I believe it was Crushed Pixel that found the exploit where you could track player IPs? I believe that was the exploit. It's been around a year since any of this has worked. Um... And it, there's just a major exploit with custom player skulls, so Mojang completely pulled that instead of, you know, fixing the issue. They just completely pulled the feature, which in of itself was more of a bug that they just kind of left in. I believe it, that was, it was unintentional, and it was a bug. But, so, the way that that worked is no longer, bro is no longer working. So, you might be asking, well, then how does this work? Well, the answer to not being able to use a fake player is to obviously use a legitimate player. And what I mean by that is these skulls are actually associated with an account. They're associated with my account because I was the one who generated this. And you might be asking, well, what does that mean? Well, basically, I added a few bits and bobs to what Jesper had made, not saying that, you know, I, I copied his generators, I wrote the code myself. But, um, Basically, you put in your Minecraft credentials into the generator, upload the skin, and it will take that skin file that you upload, send it through the same basic functions, you know, duplicating, splitting, uploading to Imgur, things like that. But it will then take that and change your skin to those skins that have been uploaded, and then pull your player data, and that will generate this statue. So that's how that works, and now I'll get into why it's incomplete, because it's a it's a big thing as to why it's incomplete. First of all, these take a really long time to make. Uh, I believe Logstone said they take around an hour by hand, and that's because he knew what he was doing. So a normal player making these probably take hours to make these by hand. Um, this really only cuts that down by about half. This took 26 minutes to generate, and that is because the way that you get uh, player data, like their, their live skin data, is through session.mojang.com, which you can only go to once per minute because there's a rate limit. So only the client can only go there once per minute. So every time I upload, every time the script uploads a skin and pulls your data, it has to wait 60 minute, 60 seconds before it can then go back and do it again because hey, there's a rate limit. So, that sucks. Uh, there is a way to combat that, and I'll get into that later. The reason why it's incomplete 
is because there currently isn't any image splitting. And that's because I don't really work too much with images in PHP, and this is something that I just threw together in about one or two days. But so, currently there's two functions that I have in here. I didn't actually remove this function. Right here, this is what I actually used to make this. It all it does is it generates uh, random skins. It just makes ran it makes skins with random colors, and it uses those. Uh, this right here, this actually just duplicates your skin that you upload, because there is no image splitting currently. I I haven't sat down and actually figured out. Okay, so I need to split the skin here, and then put it here, and then uh, split it here again, and then move this part here. I didn't actually sit down and figure that out. Uh, that's part of the reasons why I'm actually open sourcing this, is because I contacted another developer who I have contact with, uh, he's a friend of mine, and he said that he would try to add that in. I was like, okay, perfect, I'm open sourcing anyway, feel free to do whatever it is you want with it. Um, so yeah, the, the way it works, it, it's pretty simple. Um, if we go here, this was something that I just quickly uh, generated this. This is based on my skin. Um, as you can see, it uses the same base stuff. It uses, you know, skull owners, things like that. Uh, it uses the writing tag. That's why I know that this is very old. Um, so as you can see, uh, create statue, you have to select a file. Let's uh, select Redux Redstone skin. There we go. There's my skin. Uh, create. As you can see, we have to fill these out. Uh, if you enter wrong credentials, it'll send you back an error saying, hey, the, these are wrong. Uh, you can't do that. Um, if you don't trust this, as I said, all of this is uh, open source. Um, if we go right here into classes and then MC login, this is something that I wrote. This is actually a public class that I already have on my GitHub. Um, it verifies your credentials. It all goes through Mojang's auth servers. There's no third party interaction whatsoever, so it's completely safe. Um, this in itself is not hosted anywhere. The code will be hosted, but I will not be hosting a live version of this site. And that is so that people aren't like, oh, well, he might have uploaded different code than what's on the site. So just to you know, combat any uh, suspicions, uh, speaking of combating things, uh, to get around the 26 minutes, what can be done is using multiple accounts. So a developer can take this remove the need to enter your credentials because that that isn't actually needed uh someone can create an account specifically made for this and upload this code to you know their web server and just use their basically a bot or their alt accounts information specifically for this but so if you have four accounts then you can cut that down to about six or seven minutes it'll take to generate this if you have 26 accounts it'll be a minute and it'll generate this. You have to just divvy up the actual uploads. But so yeah, this is more. This is a video more for the technical people. Um, I won't get into too much detail on how it actually all works because if you can't look at the code and just you know be like, oh yeah, that does this, that does this, then um, you probably won't be able to contribute anyway. <laughs> um, I'm sorry to say that. But it, it's kind of the truth. I mean, I guess I will. Okay, so you just bait it. It sends your credentials in. You know, if, if it's not opposed, it kills the page. Um, kills the page. Uh, it. These are just basic, you know, checking the file, making sure it's the right dimensions, things like that. These are the coordinates. Um, uses Imgur. A uh, couple of classes that I made. I made all these classes. Um, right here. This is just generating the actual thing. This is getting your skin data from the session. Uh, MC login, it takes an auth code that I randomly generated uh, right here. It takes your credentials, sends them to Mojinx auth servers, sends back your, your data. It's all, it's all good. Imgur, this is probably going to be something I'll build on more. It's currently just an upload image function. Uh, this just uploads to Imgur's thingies. Uh, skin upload, this just uploads directly to... This just changes your skin. It's currently just a change option. Uh, skin URL, UID, token, things like that. So it, it's all good. Uh, all this will be in the description on the GitHub. Uh, if you want to contribute, uh, go ahead. If you take this and you think, oh, I can make that in Node.js. Oh, I can make that in Python. Um, go ahead. Please do. Uh, please 
remake this in whatever language you want, uh, send me a message, say, hey, I remade this in such and such language, uh, here's the code, or here's a link to the code, um, I'll be like, awesome, so, you know, send me a GitHub link, and I'll be more than happy to put that on the actual, you know, front page of the GitHub, um, so I hope you developers, um, take this and roll with it, um, I hope you guys get some enjoyment out of this. Um, I might make, once I get image splitting done, uh, once I, you know, work with a couple other developers and perfect it, you know, get all the bugs and the tweaks out, um, I probably will actually host this and make this an actual generator. Uh, until then, this will not be hosted. Uh, the code will be hosted on GitHub. Hope you guys enjoy it, and goodbye.